All right, so here we are, day six of my mini run challenge. So I've been running every day this week for consecutive six days, or this will be the sixth day now. So I'm gonna go push it out, my legs, everything's very sore from yesterday's uh, gym session um, with Barack, uh, doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, just my shoulders, my hamstrings, I think just from squatting him on my back. Um, but I'm still gonna get out here, turn over the legs, push for that seven days in a row of running, which I can't even remember the last time that I tried doing something like that. So even just going for a run was such a hard task to do six weeks ago. So here we go, day six, let's get it underway. Halfway mark, I'm not feeling too bad. So I'll just keep pushing on. Alrighty, done day six. Funny enough, I actually got back up to 1.7 kilometers in this run, 10 minutes, which I think was my most distance covered earlier on in the week. So after feeling like my legs were pretty dead, I. Uh, Pretty happy with that result, so I think it's about 226 or so calories burned. So there you have it, day six run ticked off. Tomorrow will be the last day to make it seven days straight, and we'll just see how we go after that. But feeling pretty good, pretty happy, and obviously making these videos. It's funny when you run and you know you've got to check in on the video, you sort of zone out and sort of focus purely just running where I reckon if I wasn't doing the videos I'd be thinking more about the actual running and trying to finish it where doing these videos make it um, sort of take your mind off that so which is good but yeah there you go check in with you later all right so day seven of my mini run challenge about to start go for my run this will be my seventh day consecutive running, um, which is awesome. Um, been a while since I've done that. And um, yeah, so a little bit of stretching, and then we're going to get into it. Whee! All right, 10 minutes done. Run seven done, 1.6 kilometers. So back up there again. Just had that one day where I dropped down, I think it was 1.2 or whatever, earlier on in the week, but, all right, folks, check out. Morning, folks, I've just woken up, realized that it's weighing day. I've had an absolute shocker of a week on the fitness front. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I did absolutely nothing. Tuesday I thought was Monday all day. I literally forgot my um, workout with Nick at CrossFit Calder. So sorry about that, Nick. Um, and then obviously every night I just had stuff on um, with the clothing label, wrap bag. Um, we've got a new range coming. So I had to organize that. We did some photo shoots and stuff. So I've just been really hectic and I've just been a bit slack. So I didn't get out for walks, didn't do a run. I um, haven't done anything literally from since Sunday. So. It'll be interesting to see how the results are on the scales, but let's get down to me uh, weighing outfit and see how we go. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how we fared. Ninety. Didn't lose any. Didn't gain any. Right. So week eight results are in. No weight gain. No weight lost. Uh, which is all right, that's fine. The last three days I haven't done any exercise at all, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the week before, I went out and got out and run every single day, so I reckon that's probably helped me with this way in this week. Um, but we'll push on. Um, so I've lost to date 14 kilograms in eight weeks, so still a great effort. Um, we'll pump up and get back into the routine for the rest of the week. Starting today, I'll get out and I'll do some exercise, go for a run and whatever else, and um, we'll take you guys along with me. So, we'll check in with you later. All right, so I'm about to go for my run. I'm not doing my usual run around the footy oval. I'm actually gonna head out here on the trail 
and just go for a run uphill downhill on the gravel see how we fare um, no time limit just see how I go whatever feels comfortable that's what I'm gonna do so no time to waste let's hit the trail It's, uh, it's funny being back running out on the trail rather than around the oval. I've already done five minutes and it feels completely different to five minutes of just mundane running around in a circle. We've got beautiful uh, scenery out here. So it doesn't seem to be as bad or as hard We'll see how we go on the way back though. So I finished my trail run. Unfortunately, my camera battery died halfway through the run, so I didn't get the film back end of it. But uh, it was pretty good. I think the end was a over two kilometer run, about 15 minutes. I think I burned about 280 calories, but I'll pop up the stats here anyway. So you can see, I uh, felt good. It's funny how your mindset changes when you're out on a trail compared to just running laps around footy oval. There's sort of no real purpose when you're just running circles, where when you're on a trail you know you've got to go forward and then you're going to come back the way you've gone. So it's always uh, always fun to do that. But um, yeah, good to be back out on the trail and we'll uh, hopefully a start of uh, many more to come. All right, we'll check you later. Yeah. <laughs>